Hi there, it's Zach with Deck the Home. You know, a classic bow is the perfect way to adorn a wreath or any other seasonal decor. Let me show you how easy it is to make one for yourself today on Deck the Home. So I'm gonna be showing you today how to make this beautiful classic bow. And before we get started, there's a few supplies that you're gonna to need to be able to do this today. So first supply is um, floral wire. You can buy it in a paddle or I have it here in pre-cut links. I really like working with pre-cut links when I'm making bows, it's a lot easier to use versus trying to unroll it from this paddle. If you do go with the paddle, you're gonna need some wire cutters to be able to cut it. Um, versus if you go with the pre-cut links, it's already cut for you. Then you're gonna need a ribbon of your choice. I am gonna be showing you today using D. Stevens Fine Ribbons. Um, I purchased this from Perpetual Ribbons online at perpetualribbons.com. And if you've never heard of D. Stevens Ribbon or if you've never utilized D. Stevens Ribbon, I highly recommend it. They make a really superior product. The wire in the edge is just super stiff. So you're gonna be able to hold the shape of the bow really well. And the, the quality is just unparalleled with these Stevens. So I really, really like the ribbon. So I'm using a vintage red with a Dupioni back today. So it matches, um, but they make ribbons in a ton of other colors. I have a Celadon and Ruby here, which I'm gonna be using later this holiday season. I have red, traditional red with a gold lame back, which is really pretty. They make tons of different ribbons, so just find one that you really like. But I'm gonna be using this vintage red today um, for making this bow. And then the other thing that I'm gonna be using is this ruler from Fiskars. It has really large numbers. It's very easy to use. Um, I really, really like it. So I'm gonna be measuring my ribbon um, just because I'm making a lot of bows for a project. And I really want them all to be the same size, so I'm gonna be using this ruler. And then finally, a really good pair of sharp scissors. So I have these, again, they're Fiskars. You can pick them up at any craft store, really. Um, but it's really important for making those clean, sharp cuts um, that look really professional. So if you liked any of the ribbons that I used today or showed during this video, I'll put a link in the description box below for perpetualribbons.com. So you can go on there and check out Bobby's selection of really beautiful ribbons. She has a lot of variety from Dee Stevens. Um, the velvets come in a lot of different colors, reds, blues, greens, pinks, purples. Um, so they really do make your holiday decoration special and it's very easy to coordinate with your designs. All right, so we're gonna start with our ribbon here and we're gonna just roll a length off. You're gonna be rolling off the roll. Um, you're gonna be taking a lot off, so I'm gonna start with a good bit. Sit that out of the way. I'm gonna straighten my ribbon out a little bit. And again, I'm gonna be measuring this. You don't have to, it's not required, but I just want um, these to kind of be even because I'm gonna be using these on the staircase railing. So it's really important to me. So I'm gonna start off with about a 14 inch tail. I'm going a little bit longer um, just because it's better to have a little bit of extra ribbon than it is to have too short a ribbon because you can't add once you cut. So. I'm measuring to 14, if you can see that, and where that 14 is, I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna pinch. And I'm just kind of moving inward and making kind of a pleated pinch. And that is my tail. And I'm gonna redo that pinch a little bit because I want it to kind of fold inward. There we go. So that's my, my tail roughly, roughly about 14 inches, give or take. All right, so now that we have our first pinch, I'm gonna make my first loop. But before I do that, I want this beautiful velvet side to show. The Dupioni back's really pretty too, but for this bow, I'm making it all velvet. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. And all you're doing, the reason you're doing this is so that when you make that loop, the, the velvet comes back around and is what's seen. There's no uh, mechanics to it. If you wanna show the back of your ribbon, if you have it like a nice back like this with the D. Stevens, you can certainly skip the twist, but because I want the velvet, I'm doing the twist. So I'm measuring out from the tip of my ruler 12 inches, and where that 12 inch mark is, I'm gonna pinch again, just kind of walking it across. And now I have two pinches, and I'm gonna bring that back to the middle. 
and that, and then I'm putting it between my thumb and my index finger, if you can see that, and that is my first loop. So now we're gonna repeat this on the other side and we're gonna make like a little bow tie. So we're gonna twist, we're gonna measure our 12, which is about right there. Oh, no, nope, about right there. And then we're gonna bring it back to the middle. And again, going between my thumb and my forefinger, and I'm gonna switch hands because I'm actually predominantly right-handed, so it's easier for me to work. And so now I should have two loops that are pretty even. I have a tail and I have two loops, so I have my bow tie. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an X. And that's gonna be four loops on top of the bow tie. So again, I've got my ribbon here between my fingers. I'm going to, it's already kind of twisted around for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of twist it just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure, and I'm switching hands. You might not be able to switch hands. I'm just kind of being ambidextrous here today. I normally keep it all in one hand. All right. We're gonna measure, and so for the inside loops, we wanna go a little bit smaller. So we went 12 with our bow tie. I'm gonna go 10 for the first loop on my X. Okay, so again, we're gonna pinch that and we're gonna bring it back to the middle and put it between our thumb and our index finger. So that's our next loop. Again, we're gonna repeat. So we're gonna twist and we're gonna use some more ribbon here. So I just kind of roll it off. You can always put it back on the roll. So we're gonna twist, we're gonna measure. Again, we're going 10 inches. And I'm doing 10 inches because that's the size of bow that I want. Um, you can scale this up or down to meet your needs. If you have a big wreath on your front door, or um, if you want smaller bows maybe, you can totally do that. And we're just going back and forth. We're gonna measure 10 inches and we're gonna pinch and pleat. And then we're gonna bring it back between our thumb and our index finger. And then I am, so I'm kind of shaping this as I go because I wanna make sure that everything's even. This is a nice time to kind of make any adjustments that you might need. And your fingers, the first time you do this are gonna hurt, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so let's be prepared. And next, we're gonna do another 10 inch loop, roughly. I need a little bit more ribbon. Ah! <laughs> uh, during the holidays when I make bows, I'm like, got ribbon rolls everywhere and they're just rolling every way, so it's kind of funny. All right, so we're gonna make our next loop, so 10 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch that between my, again, between my thumb and my index finger. Everything is going right there in the middle between my thumb and my index finger. I'm gonna twist. We're gonna make the last loop on our X, again, 10 inches, because we want all those to be even. And don't worry at this point if your bow looks kind of like a hot mess, because it's gonna look like a hot mess, um, because you're just kind of holding it in your hand. Um, you'll do all the fluffing and making it pretty kind of after we get done with this step. So finally, we're gonna make the, the center loop, that center knot, and that's about six inches or so for this bow that I showed you in the video. So I'm measuring six inches and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pinch where the six inches are on my ruler and I'm gonna tuck it under to make that loop. And I'm gonna squeeze that between my thumb and my index finger. So now we have sort of the beginnings of our bow. If you can kind of see that, we've got our bow tie, we've got our X and we've got our center knot. So now comes the fun part. So take your floor wire, your piece of floor wire, make it really long um, because you're gonna be tying this together, but you're also um, gonna need extra to be able to tie it to your project. So whether you're putting it on your wreath on your front door, you're putting it on your banisters, your mantle, you're gonna wanna have some extra so you can secure it to your final project. All right, so we're gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it right between the middle of this, this knot, this center loop, and I'm gonna kind of bend it around and I'm gonna switch hands here so you can kind of see. So you can try to see this kind of looks like terrible in the back because um, this is where all the mechanics are. But now that we've got this, I wanna make sure it's kind of even with the wire and then we're going to twist. 
and we're gonna twist really tightly. So you wanna squeeze and twist and make sure you get it really secure because you wanna be able to pull on these loops and fluff them. So just make sure you get it really tight. All right, that feels pretty good to me. And now we just wanna start fluffing. So we're gonna pull our loops up on our X. I'm gonna kinda of go in and straighten out those wires a little bit, make them look really pretty. And I'm not cutting this just yet because if I'm not happy with the project, I can undo my wire and kind of start all over. Um, and I don't have to worry about working with the length of ribbon that I've already cut. So again, we're just going in, we're kind of fluffing up our loops a little bit, making the bow. And I'm kind of happy with that. So um, I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit. Again, we're just straightening. Fluffing, and we want to see these, these back bow ties. So our X is going to be on either side of that, so you can kind of spread it out a little bit. And we've got our tails here. And now just kind of flip that around. And then I measure them down. So I just kind of eyeball this stuff. I don't measure it too much. I'm just looking for them to be even. Roll off a little bit more. So I can kind of twist that. And sometimes I'll just cut just a little bit extra, but I'm gonna cut straight across for right now. And that is your classic velvet bow. Now, you have a couple options for finishing the tails. So a lot of people like what I, what I call the fish tail. So how you do that is you take your ribbon, fold it in half, and you're gonna take your scissors and at like a 45 degree angle, you're gonna cut upwards. So 45 degrees, cut upwards, and you get the beautiful fishtail finish. Now, some people like to do um, the diagonal, so they would cut this on the diagonal and cut this on the diagonal, which is looks really nice as well. So either way, you get a nice finished end in the end. The fishtail is really classic. The uh, diagonal is a little less um, classic, but it's, it's a nice way to finish it off. And that is your classic bow, ready to put on a wreath or on your banisters or your mantle or wherever you choose. Thanks everyone for watching Deck the Home. I hope this video inspires you to create something wonderful for your own home. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell for more content. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.